Hi everyone, it's uh, Peter Seglaris here. Um, here's another uh, how-to uh, for Dork's uh, music. So, um, one of the things that I, uh, I do with my students, whatever age, is to try and, and get them thinking about uh, using their air. And uh, one thing to do this is basically like a resistance exercise, which involves your cleaner your pull through and um, you know one of the common um, things especially for um, adult players that are returning after a very long uh, time away from from the instrument uh, is that sometimes they feel that their sound isn't as kind of full or as rich as it, it perhaps might might be or that they remember and so this, this uh, cleaner exercise is, uh, this resistance exercise is very good for opening out um, sort of um, sounds, really. So if you take your cleaner and you scrunch it up, as I'm doing, I'm rolling it over my fingers here, scrunch it up into a sort of ball shape, nice and tight, take it off if you can, um, and then what you do is you're going to then shove it up the bell of the instrument, okay, as tight as you can. So, because if when you blow down the clarinet, you don't want this shooting out at, at the bottom. You're probably hearing it if you if you've got a wooden instrument, you'll you'll hear it kind of um, getting quite tight against the sides there. Now, obviously, you want to leave because you're going to need to pull it out. Okay, so you've done that. So what do we do now? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to play a long B, okay? So or or a, a low E, all right? Fingering. So I I just use the right fingering there. So everything down, right finger there, with the speaker key open, okay? So make sure the register key speaker key is open, all right? You're going to take a nice deep breath and you're going to blow. should get that. Now if your embouchure is too um, tight, so if you're kind of biting, then the note won't speak. But similarly, if you're not actually really using your diaphragm and uh, supporting, then the note won't speak either. So um, to, to use a term of a, of a colleague of mine in the US, um, you've got to engage your cage. Um, thanks Denise for for that terminology. Um, so if I just do that again. Now, all the sound is coming out of the uh, register tube, okay? So that's why it's it sounds um, kind of small, um, and that's why there's lots of resistance as well, because you're closing everything apart from that tiny hole. Okay, so if you are if you have a tuner, that's quite useful, okay, because um, uh, the tuner will just help pitch it. Now, if you get the right note, it should come in at about a C sharp, a constant C sharp. Now, don't expect it to be like perfectly in tune, because it won't be. These are essentially harmonics, okay, of, of, of the instrument. So once you get used to, to doing that, you can have a little bit of fun and try and get some um, other tones. Uh, so moving up essentially what is the, the clarinet's harmonic series. Okay, so that is a dominant seventh. Um, now, I did that with a little bit of tongue, but also just with um, adjusting this part of my embouchure. Okay, so I have the, the sort of normal shape I would use. Of course, it's going to be different for slightly different for everybody. Um, and then just imagining I'm just slightly pulling down as I go higher, whilst increasing the, um, the support and, and the, the air pressure, essentially.
So then, of course, the trick is to try and do it without the tongue and do it with the tongue. Um, and then once you get good at that, you can um, do some little fanfares. Okay, so have fun with your practice. Um, and what you'll find uh, after doing that for however long you want to do it for, I usually only do it for about 10 or 15 minutes or something like that, um, is that what you should then do after doing that is straight away take the cleaner out of the bell and play any note you like without thinking about it. Now, for me, what I find is the sound goes from this to this and I have control. I've got control of the air um, and the flow of the air through the instrument, which is really, really important about maintaining um, a really beautiful and um, sound that has uh, lots of core and is connected. So I hope that helps and keep practicing um, and stay safe. <laughs>